Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel, Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. Okay, today we're gonna to be working on the Focus, trying to get everything put back together. Obviously you can see that the uh, front bumper is not on the car. So we're gonna be putting the front bumper back on. Um, the new bumper, obviously the old bumper's over there that got ripped off. So we're gonna be doing this new front bumper and wrapping it and trying to put the car all back together for once. So I'm about over this whole ordeal of my front bumper getting ripped off. So hopefully this will be the end of this and get the car ready for 2021 because I am tired of waiting to drive this car. Well, here is the uh, new bumper from being painted. It is covered in a ton of dirt and dust, but um, one thing I take pride in after I paint is wet sanding and buffing, and uh, there is a ton of dirt in this thing. Like, just dust nibs, dirt nibs. Like, you can just feel them right there. Like, they're huge. So, I'm gonna have to wet sand this whole bumper before I put it back on because if you do not get those dirt nibs out, it'll come right through the wrap. It'll look terrible. It'll look like dust is underneath the wrap, but actually it's dirt in the paint, so in the clear. So I'm always saying this whole bumper, but at least I have the bumper because there's my old one. And obviously there's a huge difference when I don't have anything on that one. So they did buy me a new bumper. So I really appreciate that. I just kind of wish they would have let me paint it or take it to somebody I know to paint it because they would have done an amazing job. So because the guy who painted that other bumper did a great job, so. So this is the new bumper that they had painted. It's covered with about 800 pounds of dust and dirt. And there is a lot of dirt in it, so I'm gonna have to sand all that because it will show through the wrap. But there's my old bumper that's completely destroyed. And we're gonna put her on here. So now what I gotta do is transfer everything from that bumper over to this bumper and getting it all ready to go. So. This is gonna be another process since this was so hard to do the first time, so now I gotta do it a second time.
Here's the front bumper. We're getting ready to wet sand it because another company painted this, um, not by my doings, the company that ripped my front bumper off. Um, they hired a company to paint this and it's really hard to tell in this lighting, but there is dirt all inside of this paint. Like, and if I wrap over it, you can just see it. I mean, if I wrap over it, it's just gonna look terrible. So um, I'm gonna wet sand the whole front bumper, get it down. And that way we can get ready to uh, wrap everything. All right, front bumper is wet sanded, cleaned, went over with rubbing alcohol and Pro Bond. So hopefully it'll look good. There's just a lot of dirt and imperfections in the bumper, but at this point, not much I can do. There's a tear amount of orange peel, but hopefully it won't show through on the vinyl. We'll see what happens. I'm at my wit's end. This is killing me. <laughs> this is so much work to wrap this bumper. It's insane how much work this is, but it's almost there. We've got part of the bumper wrapped. Not looking too bad so far, but Definitely is a uh, journey, let me tell you, of wrapping this bumper. Ooh, got some fresh lights going in the grill. Way up in there with the LEDs. I wonder if maybe I should put some down there on the inner cooler too, but I'll just put one right there for right now. I think that's, a, that's enough. We don't even need lighting up the world.